Welcome back, this is Ant Man 2050, and we're playing Shadow of War. We're going to actually head out and do a couple more story based things this time. But first things first, we're going to go ahead and try to help this, these two uh, enemies basically. We're fighting it out. And while doing that, we're going to try to help out our guy, the antagonizer. Let's we'll see if we can get him to level up a little bit. Well, that was... It's a good thing we went about that as efficiently as possible. Oh, want the... There we go. Alright, so we got these guys, they're going to be going at it, but we don't know... Who this one is? Oh, he looks cool, but he is beast fodder. So, yeah, probably not gonna keep him around. It's interesting. There's so many of these guys that are like beast masters that are beast fodder. Okay, so the bonus is that he's a beast fighter, but beasts won't attack him. So actually he's a little bit better than I gave him credit for. So we might have to recruit him. <coughs> However, his buddy, we're, we're, we're probably not going to be... We're probably not going to be doing it. Nah, I'll see you guys later. We're not, we're not going to be hanging around long enough for that. And the head chopper there, we just uh, we just shamed down earlier, and now we could recruit him, but he's actually got a really nasty negative trait now. Feed the caragors, but don't feed them too much. A hungry caragor fights better than a full one, but a starving one will likely turn on you. That caragor lover will have no idea what hit him. Um, hey, hey, hello. I have no idea how this is going to end. Hopefully it's going to end with, uh... It is, it. Yep, he's done. <laughs> Time to beat Sauron to pets. Who does not see the true beauty of a ghoul? Now all you do is kill and kill and kill. Ghouls should be adored, cherished. You'll never see the folly of your ways. So I'll have to put you down for the sake of my beloved ghouls. Okay. I have to admit, I did not realize that you were the ghoul lover. I do believe you have a soft head, though. Wow, that is a... That is a massive... Massive ghoul. I don't have a problem bringing him over. My strength for you. 
it's true. All right, stay and fight. I have your back. You feeling all right? Who's teams with the Rangers? Ah, no, no. I can guarantee you I'm not feeling all right. Should be able to shadow dominate this one. But it's not gonna let me. Expecting that. Hey, right, come on. Ah. Come on. Just a little bit more, a little bit more. Very nice. Alright. Wow. Yeah, that was close. Alright. Antagonizer. I'm just go ahead and retreat, get out of here. And you as well. Submit to me. I'm off. Alright. Oh, what a mess. Alright, so he's already off on like a Karagor hunt. We get another. Random Vendetta mission? Alright. So, let's go ahead and pick up our loot, and then move on with a, a story mission. The fighting place to test the strength of our orcs. Indeed. Let us hope we can get a seat. Let him take me alive! I was going to say, is that a treasure log? But it's not. It's just another, uh... Another worm here. But before we go off and mess around with the fight pits, we might as well get knowledge on at least one of the last guys. Do we not have knowledge on this one? Yeah, okay. I was going to say, I think we had details on him. Oh, wow. Look at that guy. Vulnerable to south, battle-weary... Eh, it's not too bad. Alright. See if we can get, uh... See if we can get going in the right direction here. Not quite what we were planning, but the grave walkers chasing me. Yep, okay. That's right, I don't think we needed him anyways. I don't think there's any unrevealed members of the hierarchy right now. Now without time passing. Alright, so the pit, the work pit fights. Ah, the fight pits. You know, this is more than just a place to pop some orcs' heads off. Although that is uh, something I cannot recommend enough. But the fight pits are where you can test your followers. See what happens when they have a go at some other geezer. You're always bringing in tough orcs to fight, and if your fella survives, he'll be stronger for the experience. 
If he snuffs it, well, the one who done it in has what it takes. So there's a potential new recruit. And however it shakes out, your boys will love watching the show. Nothing boosts morale up like bodies going down. Join forces with that man, Slime. I will eat your death oh, extra man. nasty. You like the pain? I didn't realize I had anybody in here. No, I had the shy in here. Okay. See, wasn't that a good time? Grog was drunk, laughs were had, blood was shed, and Grog was drunk. Ah, there's no fight like a pit fight. All right. I'll have to take a minute to really read over those here after I get a video cut together. <laughs> Okay. So they open up two new regions for us. Does that mean that we're supposed to be leaving this region? I'm not entirely sure. Let's let's pull back for now. Okay. All right, so they give you a bunch of new challenges for that. I've actually done a few things without even realizing I was doing them, so that's kind of nice. Okay. Alright, so before we get too crazy here, let's take a look and see what we got going on with our army. I don't know why we can mark him as a target still. I'd really like to kind of boost up my defenses, but it doesn't look like I can do that. Oh, that's right. These are the two that are blood, bro blood brothers. No, they're not blood brothers. What's going on here? Yeah, I mean, he's a blood brother, but he's not blood brother with that one. He's blood brothers with this one. Hmm. I don't know what's exactly happening there. Okay, here we go. Siege upgrades. That's what we wanted to do. So on our side, because we have a ton of Mirrodin right now. Everything costs a ton of Mirrodin right now, though. That's interesting. Okay. Alright, so when you're trying to hold the bases, there's a there's a bunch of things that you can do that are kind of very helpful to you. Some of it's controlling how your guys are going to be able to defend their base. I don't see any reason not to make an extra piece of hierarchy here. I got plenty of works right now to put in there. So, alright. 
the stronger your walls are, the less likely you're going to have something run up and break through them. Same thing's true about the gate. If you have a very hard, like, iron gate, they're probably not going to try to break the gate. They're going to try to go for the walls. If you have very strong walls, they're probably going to try to go through the gate. So it's a little bit of a trick. If you put poison out here on the walls, you're going to wind up actually uh, causing a lot of trouble for people trying to break in. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do stone walls for now, and we'll come back and upgrade this for it later so it gets a little bit better. So I got the stone walls. Well, we'll make them a little bit harder to get through. I'm going to do the iron gate, which will make the gate harder to beat. And then we're going to go ahead and do Hunter Host, because it's going to make them want to climb over the walls, probably with Karagor. By doing this, we will keep them from being able to get in uh, as easily on us. Is that what we're doing right now? Or is this assigning a follower? I thought we were assigning a new... a new commander. And I'll take followers. Let's go ahead and have... the Half-Tongue be the follower, because now he's he's actually gotten a lot better. He's still Beast Fodder. Actually, he's not. He's not better. No. He's still pretty bad. I hate to put him in because he's actually pretty good. He's flammable, which is not the best. But if we assign him... We can at least get him up there for that. Let's go ahead and go for broke. We're gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the poisonous siege beast. Now siege beast can work against you, but they also can help really thin your enemy out, keep them from being able to attack you directly. So I mean, it's not a great base, but it's it's all right for now. You know, and as we get a little bit higher level, we should be able to make that even better. I could use some training orders on them. Maybe get them a little bit better, but... At this point, I don't think that's a really good idea. I would like to see, you know, to, to be able to send them to my, uh... Send them to my stable, but... I guess that's not how it works. Alright. So, now that we've done that, we got like an army coming up over the wall. Come on. Let's see if there's anything else here aside from the slaughter tribe. So we got a whole lot of slaughter tribe stuff. Which, I mean, I guess we might as well... We might as well go into the slaughter tribe and see what's what. And actually, I think maybe we'll do an online pit fight after we do after we do a slaughter trap thing. I kind of want to help him with his character hunt. Where are we at, by the way? We're clear over here, right? Yeah. No, we're in the middle here. Okay. Let's go ahead and help him with the Kagura fight, and then we'll immediately go from there to... Oops. Yeah. We're not interested in fighting you. We'll see you guys later. Oh, 
There's gotta be somebody we don't know anything about, right? The answer to that is, it doesn't look like it. But we can be mean and decide we're gonna send a death threat to somebody. So, I mean, and there is that. You guys are already fighting it out? You know what? Let's do it. We're gonna send a death threat to you. So death threats are kind of interesting. I know I didn't really explain that, so sorry. Uh, what happens when you put a death threat out is that you actually instantaneously raise the orcs level and you make them a little bit more aware of you but the kind of bonus for it is that when you actually get to go deal with them they should have better gear alright so let's go ahead and help him hunt some Karagors There it is, boys. The dumb beast doesn't even know we're here. Now he's got a nice special in that even though he's beast fodder, he can't he doesn't get attacked by beasts. No worries. All right, yeah, and he gained uh, four levels out of that, so that's pretty good. It should be. There we go. All right. So we've got that. We just went ahead and made a death threat against this guy, so we should mark him. Let's see if we can go find him out here in the world. And then probably that'll be where we decide to call it. Come on. I've got two buttons that take you away to uh, see things. The downside is both of them make it kind of kind of hard to tell where you're supposed to be looking. Jeez, he's a long ways away. All right. Well, let's go. We'll have a cinnamon take us there. Since we're letting coconut still rest. We haven't really had a lot of... We haven't got to use coconut very much yet. I kind of figured as soon as I got the uh, the dire caragor, forget it, I wasn't going to be calling on any more regular caragors. I'd be just calling on the, uh, the dire versions. But I guess not. <laughs> All right. Let's look at his details real fast. Vulnerable to stealth. He's battle wary. He's actually pretty good, but um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take him out anyway. So. Maku is mine. Some grave walker thinks he can take me on. Show yourself, you miserable glob. Yeah, it's, it's, it's me. Hey! Well, you found me. You gonna do something about it or just admire me? Well, you know, I was thinking about just admiring you, but now that you said that, I don't know. Wow, that was some good, that was some fancy shooting. Been waiting for this. Time for murder. 
Throw an execute on him. Pin him again. Oh, nice. Yeah, I missed that counter. Freezing and execution. Ready for round two? It's in where it drain up. I guess that's not really that surprising. Let's see, can we shadow strike? You're almost done. There we go. So now we need to run away. Drain somebody here. There we go. Because as much as uh, I don't, I don't want to hurt you. Get somewhere where we can heal. Alright, off the wall, thank you. Alright. Now you kind of forgot that since I, uh, I made my other guy epic and made him defending the gate, I don't really have a bodyguard anymore, so. Either way, I think we're probably better in this one here, and then we'll have some, uh, some fun stuff to do next time, but this is Ant-Man 2050, we're playing Shadow of War. Have fun, play games, be aware, see you all next time.